what is going on people it is your boy that guy ike you are checking out another episode of one race lifestyle stop before you do anything else make sure you click that subscribe make sure you click that like keep an eye out for the merch that's going to be dropping soon i hope i can get it in the camera here it should look pretty good but um yeah man what's going on my corona crew COVID 19 click so in the state of florida we are officially at a stay at home order as you see i am not at home that is because i'm out running essential errands so yeah man i hope everybody's safe man i hope everybody is uh hanging in there you know making sure that their family is good taking the proper precautions and uh, so let's talk about it man what exactly does this stay at home order mean it's kind of crazy because although they're saying that we need to stay at home i still see a lot of people out on the road right now i'm out here violating the stay at home order for the state of florida i'm technically not violating like i said i'm running some errands or whatever so you know but it's crazy even with this going on there's like so many people out on a regular day during this time of day on a friday i don't think i've seen this many people out and about i'm out here driving in my chrysler 300 a lot of people don't know that's my my daily i guess so not really my daily i rarely drive the car because i'm usually riding the bike but because i'm dropping some stuff off of course you know i gotta you know it all won't fit on the bike so i'm driving the car i'm actually thinking about getting a new car i'm holding off though because of this time like it, it's crazy what this this thing is doing to people man. i'm fortunate enough to still be able to work and provide for my family you know my wife is fortunate enough to still be able to work you know and, and do her thing and i see like so many youtubers start offloading vehicles to start trying to you know trying to do different things man and, hey i'm not knocking them. whatever you got to do for your family you got to do but it, it makes you think man and it makes you put a lot of things into perspective man like a lot of this material stuff it is not not even like worth it half the time you know what i mean yeah it gives us good content to watch you know it gives you know good entertainment or whatever but man when times get hard times get hard man i am thinking about getting a new car um i'm still going to keep my chrysler 300 done because i like it it's not an srt8 or anything special it's actually a uh, a limited edition so you know i like it it's an older one an 05 and it's my beater man this car i kid you not right now on the clock this car has 256,797 miles on it and it runs like a brand new freaking car the only the only reason or the only issue that i have with this car because i just put a whole bunch of work into it but the only issue that i have with this car they have some weird electrical issue with a lights flicker it's not the alternator it's not the battery um it's not a ground it's not a pulley what i what i found out is that i think it might be the computer in the car so i'm more than likely just gonna switch out the computer and see if that fixes it but other than that i like the car it's one of those big cars where you can just get in and you know what i'm saying you and your boys can ride out or you know you can put the kids in and ride out and a reason why I want to keep this car when getting a new car is because the new car that I'm getting is definitely going to be a muscle car. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. The new car will be a muscle car. And yeah. Now I know what a lot of people are thinking. Why don't you just go ahead and get a Hellcat or get a 392 Scat Pack? You know, you could get a Challenger or, or a Charger. As much as I, I like, I love 392 scat packs. Don't get me wrong. I love scat packs. I love Hellcats. My issue is, I really just don't want to deal with Chrysler and Dodge electrical issues anymore. As much power as those cars have and stuff like that, and as cool as they look and stuff like that, I just think that YouTube and the market is just flooded with Hellcats and scat packs. They're, they're badass cars, but. I just think it's just so flooded with them. And um, I just want something different, man. I want something different to where I can go ahead and, you know, make it me. Something that pe a lot of people wouldn't think that I would drive or that I would like. Something that a lot of people would be like, why would you get that? I have a certain, a particular model in mind. And, you know, if I go ahead and pull the trigger on it, I know I'm gonna get a lot of, a lot of heat on it, but I think, I think it's gonna be a pretty cool car. So if you can, comment down below 
what do you think the new car is going to be? I will tell you, I am going to tell you again, it's going to be a sports car and it's going to be two doors. So you tell me what do you think the new car is going to be? I can, it's not going to be a Challenger, so you can go ahead and get that, get that out the window. It's definitely not going to be a Challenger, but it will be a sports car. It will be two doors. I do like Japanese cars, and I do like American cars, but this will be particularly an American muscle car. So let me know what you think is going to be down below. Still in the market, looking for one. And a quick, let me just uh, let you guys know an update on the bike. I still got the bike, still got the GSX 250R. It's at home right now, you know, sitting basically because I really can't ride anywhere with the stay-at-home order. I ordered parts for it, but the parts have been backlogged or back-ordered, I guess is what you would say, because everything, geez, that was a hard bump. Everything is a priority, you know, for COVID-19. So a lot of these companies aren't shipping, especially if a lot of the stuff is coming from overseas. So as soon as I start getting parts in, I promise you I will start making videos on it and uh, showing you the things that are, that are going on with the bike. You know, every now and then with this going on, I'll still take it out and, you know, rip it up and down the street just to go ahead and give it some love. But I really can't ride like how I want to, you know, because I'm not going to work anymore. I'm working remote, so there's really no place I can really ride or anything like that or have the time to really ride like I was. But I still got it. It's still there. And uh, I still got plans to, to tweak it a little bit. So I just wanted to give you a quick rundown on the bike. Let's talk about this 300. <laughs> yes, I call my Chrysler 300 a 300. It is a 2005. A lot of people be like, why do you have this car? I don't know, man, I like it. It's a fully loaded 300. So like what I mean, fully loaded, Navi, power heated seats, power pedals, it, it, it's fully loaded. So, and I like it. Like I said, it's comfortable, it rides good. It's a big car and for it to be the 3.5 v6 because that's what it is again it's not an srt or it's not a uh, a c you know a hemi c so it doesn't have a hemi in it but it is a 3.5 v6 it 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 moves man <laughs> so don't sleep on them like i said i just got some work done to this car so i did a little bit of tweaking on it so it, it gets up and does what it needs to do I think the next thing that I'm going to do while I have it is um, I'm going to take the mufflers off of it. I think it's too quiet. So I'm going to take them and do a muffler delete on it. I'm going to keep the cat, do a muffler delete, see how that sounds. I want to change it to duels because right now it's a single outlet, so I'll change it to duels. Um, I'm going to throw an intake on it. Once I get the new computer, I'm going to do a, uh, a tune on it and uh, see, what that, see what that does and how it handles. I got some wheels in mind that I want to put on it, which I think will look really, really cool. Um, it's a it's a set of wheels that nobody really has. I think I only seen maybe like one or two people with these particular wheels, and um and they don't have them anymore in their car. So, so the certain wheels that I'm gonna get, I think are really dope. I think they'll look good on the car, and I'm going I'm gonna slam it. I'm gonna lower it. So, you know, although the car already sits at a pretty, it's weird the way this car is shaped. It looks like it's low because the roof line of the car sits, it looks like the roof is chopped on it, but it's not. So it looks very low. But if you look at the wheel gap on this car, the wheel gap is huge. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and um and drop the car and lower it. Like I said, it's you know it's my beater and you know it's paid for, it's a paid off car. And in all honesty, I really just knowing about cars, I know I really want to get, especially with the mileage on it, I know I'm not going to get as much money for it as I would want. So I'm like, why even sell it? It runs good. I just put work, you know, I just had some work done to it. So why even sell the car? You know, I'm not going to get the money back for it. So I figure why not just go ahead and make it my, my little project. So then that way, when I'm going to, when I'm doing these car shows like Festival of Speed and Cars and Coffee and all that stuff like that, I can take either this or my new muscle car, you know, to, to those. And then when I'm going to bike stuff, then I can take the bike. I'm blessed. And uh, my wife said, as long as there's not a whole line of cars up and down the street, she's fine if I have more than one car. So it's all good. Make sure, if you can, that you go ahead and check me out on Instagram at One Race Lifestyle. Check me out on Twitter at One Race Lifestyle and also on Facebook at One Race Lifestyle. 
I'm probably going to go ahead and end this quick vlog right here. Don't forget, man, make sure you comment down below what muscle car do you think that I'm going to get. It's going to happen. I'm just trying to figure out when to pull the trigger on it, and we'll see what, what it do. All right? It's your boy, that guy, Ike. Man, everybody stay safe. Everybody stay blessed. And, you know, and I'll see you on the other side of this thing. All right? Later.